Hi, this is Jonathan Gardner, and as part of the Theory of Python series, I wanted to walk through an actual project with my viewers and subscribers. And this is the very first phase of every project. So any project you have, you first need to understand the problem. And by scoping, it's not so much definition as it is like trying to put uh, walls around the problem so that the problem can actually get solved in the time frame that we have available to us. So like, for instance, uh, every company has the problem of trying to make money, right? If, if you just had that as your problem definition, it's way too broad. You can't get any kind of specific thing to uh, define a better project around it. So the step one for this problem is we have the general concept of a calculator. And I wanted to create a calculator with you guys. Now, a couple things that I'm going to say from the beginning is this is going to be on the command line. This calculator will not use any kind of graphical user interface. Um, it will run, we need to have it run on Windows. Um, Windows, Mac, and Linux. So we're gonna try to keep project compatibility across those platforms. Part of the reason for this is I wanted to maintain a focus on the code and the implementation and not so much on the interface. Also, I wanted people that are on different platforms to be able to use this code and be able to see how it works and understand how to work on it. So those are kind of the hard limits that I've added to this project. At this point, what you should do is you should come up with kind of uh, for yourself, just kind of say, give your problem proposal to me. So send me an email or send me on Discord uh, a link to a Google Doc or something where you put down kind of what the problem is we're trying to solve. What does the calculator do? What kind of operations does it perform? What kind of numbers would we support? Are we going to do any kind of exotic operations? Uh, do we want to do sines and cosines? Or do we just want to focus on multiplication, addition, division, and stuff like that? Do we want to have statistic functions? Okay. So I want you guys to put together a, a problem definition for the calculator project, put it in the phrase, phrase it such that it is a question. Like, can we do this? Or how can we do this, right? Or another way to phrase it is say, this is what needs to be done. This is the features that this thing needs to have, okay? Once we have the problem scoped, then the next step is we're gonna work and iterate on a design. And by design, there's two parts of the design. One part of the design is what code's gonna live where and what's it gonna do. And the other part of the design is going to be how the software is going to behave for the end user. Like what is the end user going to do and what will the software do in response to their actions? So we're going to focus on both aspects of the designs in the next video. And then after we get the design or when we start to get close to a design, then we will take step three and we will start working on the implementation. The first phase of the implementation is getting a prototype. And the second phase will be to really polish that prototype and get everything implemented properly. And as that happens, we'll move into step four, which is testing. And then finally, step five, we will release this software. And our release is just gonna be in the form of a GitHub repo. So we're not gonna sell the software. Or we're not gonna put it on a website or anything like that, okay? So right now we need to figure out what it is we want the, the calculator to do. We wanna limit the definition of the problem. We don't want to go too far, right? We don't want to say solve every type of formula. We don't want to re-implement re mathematics or anything like that. And then after this, we will start talking about design. So guys, go home, think about what you want this calculator to do and send me a link to a document or send me an email or just show up on Discord and just list the things that you think the calculator should do. And after I've gotten several submissions for the problem scope, I'm gonna choose one or maybe mash together my own and then we'll use that for the next step, which is the design. So guys, I want you to take the time to think about this problem, think about what you want it to do, how you want it to work, and I hope you have a great day. Take care and bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video on the theory of Python by Real Physics. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell, like and share this video. You can find me on Discord or support me on Patreon. Links are in the description below. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.